PC style files. Hi, I've had a request for assistance from Murray. He says, Hi DC, our band Bermuda Shades love swans. We have recently recorded a fun song called Like Swans Dare. We would like to make a film clip for the song that features dancing swans dancing at night time but have not been able to find any actual swans that can dance or any suitable swan costumes in shops. We have found a couple of large swan pool toys that we think may work for dancing. Can you help? Thanks for getting in contact with me, Murray. I've had to think about how I might be able to help you. When I think of swan costumes, I think of the one that Bjork wore to the Academy Awards one year, and also Swan Lake. And one thing that those costumes have in common is tulle. I happen to have a fair amount of white tulle, which you can see in the background here. These are a bunch of veils that were found in a bin outside an expensive wedding shop in Brunswick. I used them in designing a bridal outfit for my executive producer, Angela, and I still have plenty of veils left over. So I thought maybe that could be a material that we could work with. And I've sketched out a few design ideas that might work for your dancing swan costume. The first idea I had was to attach some chul to the blow up pool toy. This could hang down like wings. Then I was starting to think about whether you wanted to hide the person. So I thought, oh, maybe they could hold the swan up and the wings could be a bit longer. The person hidden underneath the wings. Swans have webbed feet. Maybe you could buy some flippers and paint them orange. You could wear some orange colored stockings. I thought you could have some wings hanging off your arms. And maybe an orange party hat could be good for the beak. You could make use of whatever white clothes you have, like a t-shirt, shorts, or white stockings. I realized when I did this sketch that the neck is quite important to make it look like a swan, otherwise it could easily look like a duck costume. I made a duck ragdoll hat in one of my previous episodes, and I thought it's not too much of a stretch to paint it white and turn it into a swan ragdoll hat, but then you've still got the problem of the long neck and it looking more like a white duck. So I came back to the swan pool toy floaty, and I thought maybe you could free your arms up by having some straps attached to your shoulders. And then if you wore the wings off your arms, your arms would be free to flap about, and this would create movement when dancing, and I think it would look quite nice. So that's probably my preference, and the final idea that I would present to you, Murray. I'm happy to help you take this to the next stage, and I think it would be of benefit to my viewers to see the behind the scenes in this commissioning of an outfit. Let's make this the best dancing swan costume we can. The DC Style File